Anna Gunn is here. How are you, Anna? I'm Boy, at Deja Vu all over again, we got to chat last year. And yes. what, a, what a way to put a, a nice, not even a pyramid, but an exclamation point on a, an amazing series. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm calling up. Oh, yes, and here's my. They told me to step in. But Yay. I'm, hello. Now, I, I want to go out, I want to say here, I predicted this win tonight. I've got my Heisenberg cufflinks on. So I think I win in the office pool there. Yeah, how about that, huh? Uh, Aaron, congratulations as well. It's, I was just telling Anna, it's an amazing exclamation point at the end of an amazing run for you guys. And hey, Brian, like you said before, maybe they can just have you back next year. We'll be back next year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have an entry. We're gonna do some, some Breaking Bad shorts yeah. and submit them or something. Just on the pawn shop stuff. Yeah, more of that, more of that. Uh, Aaron, I, I only got to hear a little bit of your acceptance speech, but you talked about what an opportunity it was for you as an actor and the doors that it's opened for you, and especially winning an Emmy opens for you as well. Uh, it, it's got to be a fun ride. It has been the, uh, the ride of a lifetime. I know I can speak for everyone involved with Breaking Bad, on camera, off camera, behind the camera, everybody. Uh, we had a, the time of our lives. You know, it was, we're such a family, and I, I miss these beautiful people every single day and I feel very blessed every single day. So, yeah. I have a confession to make. I was at the, I think it was the season three or the season four launch party for you guys and I hadn't seen a lick of the show. So I had to conduct all these interviews and ask you about season four and it was really hard and I was trying not to spoil it because I hadn't seen the show and I wanted to see it but it was so tough and, and not really understanding anything of what I was talking about. After that, binge watched the show, caught up, my favorite show, I know it's a lot of viewers' favorite shows as well, and I think that the Emmy win is definitely uh, an endorsement of that. Is this one of those things where you wake up every day missing going to set with your Because it, it never felt like going to work. It felt like going to play with, you know, the, the best players there are. And, and we created this incredible family, but it really, honestly, I... You're, what you said about leaping out of bed, it, and and can't, we couldn't wait to get there, and that's so rare. Um, it, it just never. There was never one day where I thought, oh, when is this going to? Just I wanted more and more and more. Yeah. Right, I wanted to ask you about the mustache. I was backstage and I heard Julia Louis Dreyfus tell you that you look like Errol Flynn. So what's the what's the story on the stage? Well, I'm I'm trying to get used to the look. I'm doing a period piece, uh, a movie called Trumbo, which I'll start shooting next month. It's about the blacklisted writer Dalton Trumbo, and uh, a very dark period in, in Hollywood history. So it's, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to that as well. I know you guys need to go, but I hope you'll stay with me as we say goodbye to our viewers. To everybody that watched tonight, thank you for hanging out with us for the 66 Primetime Emmys and Backstage Live.